But the leap in technology, the way I would compare it is going from like a flip phone to an iPhone, right? There's, there's a lot more technology in the 169 and a lot more technology that helps the pilot. So the healthcare district in Tramahawk began almost 32 years ago as a Bell 412 helicopter and has evolved in, into some Sikorskis and now we operate two AW169 uh, fully outfitted helicopters. So I find that, you know, obviously from a 412 to a, Sev to a Sikorsky to the AWs, it's a progression in technology. And as, you know, just as your cell phones progress and the world progresses in technology, we progress in the helicopter world as well. Uh, and then the new helicopters are now the, the very newest uh, and have the latest and greatest in all avionics and safety features. Our learning curve was quite steep. We've had, you know, a lot of our pilots have been here for over 20 years and they've been in the same airframe that was very analog. And now moving them into a hyper digital aircraft, uh, we had a very long process of, of getting them adapted safely to make sure we were bridging all of the gaps that they may feel. Uh, we spent each one of our pilots uh, spent over 50 hours in the cockpit with our instructor pilots. We utilized level D simulators, you know, that was the initial step to go through. And then we wrote a curriculum to, to bring, bring the aircraft online step by step. The great thing was well, we had an existing fleet, so we took our time, got everybody comfortable um, in, in the new airframe. And when we got to the point where everybody had enough time and everybody says, yeah, we feel good, we're comfortable with the airframe and, and the aircraft, you know, we're able to, to put the aircraft online. So the Trauma Hawk is a joint effort between the healthcare district of Palm Beach County and Palm Beach County Fire Rescue. The healthcare district uh, maintains everything, helicopter, the pilots, the maintenance. Palm Beach County Fire Rescue operates pretty much everything in the cabin over here, all the medicine for the Trauma Hawk. We have 12 full-time paramedics. Half of them are registered nurses on the 13th. The registered nurses on the helicopter provide the critical care for the inner facilities and the paramedic skill is more for the scene calls. So, so Palm Beach County Fire Rescue and most of South Florida are dual systems. And what I mean by that is fire rescue systems. Uh, everybody in Palm Beach County Fire Rescue is a firefighter as well as an EMT or paramedic. Very few people have the RN certificate or RN license. Um, usually those people find themselves up here at Trauma Hawk. There is a learning curve when you come to the Trauma Hawk. Uh, mainly your time frames are cut down to a fraction of the time in the helicopter than you have on the ground. Uh, everything happens real fast back here. The transports are, you know, average seven minutes. So you have to get a lot done in a short amount of time. And the patients that we encounter back here, usually their acuity level is higher. So their, very, their uh, treatment is very time sensitive. We can do everything back here that a rescue truck or an ambulance can do on the ground, an emergency scene ambulance. Uh, in addition to that, we also are one of the few units in the county that carry whole blood. Approximately two years ago, Palm Beach County started a whole blood initiative for trauma patients or exsanguinating patients. We've, we've given roughly 150 units over two years. Some of the benefits of whole blood for an exsanguinating person are, you know, just as it sounds. Blood is imperative for survival, for life as we know it. Prior to blood, whole blood administration, if somebody was exsanguinating, there was very little that we can do besides controlling. Now we control exsanguination and we also administer whole blood to to gap that chain of survival until they get to a trauma center or a trauma surgeon. I enjoy the challenge that aeromedical poses the most about our job, uh, the ac high acuity of the patients that we encounter, the high functioning level that we must maintain to be here, and ultimately the outcome of some of the patients that we encounter. Not always uh, what you would hope for, but we do make a difference in a lot of patients' lives.